hello guys welcome again in this video we are going to learn how we can read or write data into text file using go language and we have a very simple code also you see that we have a package first of all now i just create a function create file like this in this file i will make a coding for this then i have a function open file and I will make a coding for open file in this function also. I have a main function here I will start it and here I am calling if first of all the function here I am calling first of all the function create file then later on I will open the I will call the open file. So here I just make a code that f r r error and the file pointer and I say os dot create and here I give the info dot txt as a file name. Now I say if there is an error means it's not equal to nil that means the error is there then we call the panic function to display the error and stop the execution of the program. Now we have a file. So this file having the function read to data read function to read the information from the file. But first of all we have to write the data. So what we have we uh, now we will use this uh, f pointer file pointer here to write information in this file for that i have f dot write function and in this function we have to pass a byte array so i create the data as a byte array and i say it is byte type and inside this i just insert some information like this is my information for text file like this and I put the information in this file like this and I save it. I just uh, open the file so I have to close this file also so I am just using the defer for it. So this statement will execute at the last of the function and my file will close and I have write the data. So if I run this code. So uh, you see the one file is created and we have a one line of code inside this. And this is the way to write a byte information. But I can write directly the string information like string, write string. Here I can say slash n in a new line that this is another way to write information in text file like this I save it once again I run this code and you see in file we have a one more line so very simple way we have created the file we have write the data into the file we have a two way by byte array we can write this the slice we create we can pass it or directly we can write by using write string now we have to do one more thing we have to open a file and read the data for that again i just use f and i say os dot open function and here same file i just call info.txt and if there is an error so i just handle this and put panic here panic means if there is error it will display and stop the execution now file is there now I have to read the information for reading it again I need a byte array so I created slices here and I say make and here I just put that uh, byte and I say I need 100 line of space here and then f dot read I use 
and put data inside this and you see the information has been come in this byte array or slices and now I use FMT to print ln this information like this I save it and I just again uh, first of all I have to call this method also open file save it once again if I run you see that information is coming in binary format because I have to convert this into a string so I just put this into the string again if I run it and it will display the same information I have inserted into the file this information I am displaying by using this now again we have one more way to read the data from this file for that what I have to do uh, I just create one more function and I say fun open file second this is the second way to do this so we have f then here and I have os dot read file function so I just read file and pass here info.txt and remember that again I just handle the error not equal to nil and here I just use panic function to pass the error again here you see that uh, we have a f so this f is the data itself remember this f is not a file pointer it is the data which we have here by using this function directly we having a data into this and now i have to print only like this fmt dot println and i have to pass the string here and data you see directly i am just displaying the information and i call this function and so i say open file 2 like this save it and the same information will display two time you see by the first way we have display by the second way we have display both the methods are legal and valid you can do by any method so we can read the information from the file like this way in a very simple manner and we can create a file and we can write the data by two way into the file so that's all in this video if you really learn anything from this video kindly do subscribe my channel and thank you for watching my videos